our Trunian upgrade to our LS 5.3 engine. Uh, this particular product is CHE Precision. Um, it's a real nice kit. It's packaged very well. Good instructions. The way this kit works, it um, obviously has a, a new Trunian, but instead of bearings, it has these little brass bushings. So essentially, it's bearingless. Um, no room for error there. If you look at a stock rocker, they come with uh, these little half moons in there. So these little half moons have bearings in there. I don't know if you can see there, the little bearings in there. Well, they look like this. Here's one. So let me take it out. You see all the little bearings in there. So when you have a high lift cam, these little caps that are in here start working themselves out. And all these little bearings spill all over the motor and catastrophe. So these CHE precision trunion upgrades, they give you a new trunion with a brass bushing and new little clips, new little, uh, I think these are called C-clips, um, to prevent the trunions from coming out. See, these don't have them. So another cool thing about these is that this particular brand is uh, requires no press to put them on. Now, I did buy a um, powerhouse tool to make this easier. Um, I'm using a Arbor Press from uh, Harbor Freight and this precision tool to take them out. Um, obviously, I don't need to press them in because this particular brand doesn't require it. But this side here, I already pressed out and cleaned up. These are ready for trunions. So I'll walk you guys through one. The reason I got the Arbor Press and the tool was I was a little worried that I, I could bend a little rocker or so, but it's actually really easy. So these have a little flat area here, and this area doesn't have it. So you'll use a little flat area to set inside the rocker, just like this. As you see here, it fits perfectly. So it sits in there, has a little magnet bottom, and then the little cap sits right on top, fits perfectly, right about there. And voila, comes out. You can see all the little bearings there. Well, catastrophe waiting to happen. Then you take it out. Here's the other side. All the bearings. So that's how the tool works. And you just take your cap off dump it and you have a clean rocker so now all you gotta do is clean it up real good instructions say you use soapy water um, got a little bit of brake cleaner and some some rags and clean them up that's why I did the others worked out great for me but yeah so that's how this tool works great tool um, another way you could do it is uh, by using a bigger socket um, you can but like I said I, I was too sketched out to to ruin something so I just went ahead and bought the tool. So once you have the clean rocker like this, all right, this one's already been cleaned up. You get some um, some engine assembly lube or motor oil, whichever works fine, and then just get a good dab in there. It is a bushing to metal, no bearing, so. You want to make sure you help it out in the beginning and uh, get it nicely greased up. So then, get, do the same thing to your trunium. Okay. And a little brass bushing. Fold sides because these actually float in there, they're not pressed in. So, I don't know if you can see that push get that get one in there and press it in there like so and then flip it over get your trunion so 
slide it in there. You get another bushing. All right. Same thing. Help it out. Give a little bit of grease. Assembly lube or oil, not grease, sorry. And then we'll simply slide them in there. Like so. Make sure they, they spin freely. And I set them on a flat surface like that. And you get some of these uh, pliers. A little C clip in there. These are kind of a pain, honestly. Yep, first attempt fail. Just like that. Make sure it's seated in there good. Flip it over. Grab another. So here's this one. in there. Yep. Okay. And voila. Moves freely. It's good. Doesn't slide in and out. And that is how you do a CHE Precisions Trunion Upgrade. So, anybody wants to tackle this project, super easy. Don't be scared of it. Um, highly recommend Precisions uh, Power Precision Tool. Oh no, Powerhouse Tools. I think it's made by Comcast. Um, and an Arbor Press. There you go.